everybody, I am Shelby McTavish and this is a video for my communications class for Nate's School of Business. All right, so everybody has heard the saying that a dog is a man or a woman's best friend. Do we know why? Is it because they're cute, they're fluffy, they follow their tails, they do funny things, they love us unconditionally? Yeah, those are some of the reasons. But you know that there's actual scientific facts on why they are good for us and why they improve our lives. I'm here to talk to you about some of them. Now, I also know these reasons firsthand. As I stated in my first video, I have two dogs. I have a pug who's nine and deaf, Brutus, and I also have a Border Collie Husky Cross who is very hyper. He's about two and his name is Tucker. All right, so let's talk about the scientific reasons. Did you know that owning a dog is actually good for your blood pressure and can help lower it? It's true. There was a study recently done where they took a bunch of high stress New York City stockbrokers from Wall Street. They took their blood pressure and they all were at high levels. They have high stress jobs, they work long hours and they live in New York City, which is a city that never sleeps. Well, they gave these dogs or these brokers, sorry, some dogs to foster. A couple weeks later, they recorded their blood pressure again and wouldn't you know, their blood pressure went down. This is because it's comforting to us to have something to come home to, something to nurture, it's something that loves us unconditionally back. Also, say you're new to a city, you just moved to town, say you're going to a new school in a new city, you have no friends yet, what do you do? Did you know that owning a dog is actually good for your social life? Having a dog can help get you out of the house, get you walking around downtown, maybe heading to the local dog park. Dog parks are a great place for you to meet new friends and meet people that have the same hobbies and interests as you. Plus, a bunch of cities always run little 5K, 10K fun runs where you get to bring your dogs. How fun. Another way dogs can improve your life is your love life. Do you know it's actually been proven that having a dog in your profile picture on your dating website can improve your chances of being chosen? That's because we are looking for mates who are dependable, reliable, able to care for something, something that they're able to nurture things. Having a dog shows all these things. You have to water it, feed it, take it out for walks, love it, give it attention. All great things when looking for a mate, great qualities to have. Another way that dogs are great for us is they actually can lower your anxiety. We've seen them around the universities and they're actually even starting to pop up now at airports and public schools. Dogs. There's a couple different programs where people are able to bring in their dogs, they volunteer their time and they volunteer their dog to come to these public places to help reduce stress. This is great, especially when you see it around universities at exam time. I've seen a cup firsthand a couple times and it honestly lightens your mood, brings down your anxiety and helps you get ready to tackle your exam. They're even starting to bring them to airports now because there's so many people out there that have such a fear of flying that petting the dog and comforting the dog helps take their mind off their stress and their worries. All great things. My mom is terrified of flying. I think they should have them in more airports. Another way that dogs are great, they actually lower your, um, sorry, they actually build your immune system and help lower your chances of having allergies. Dogs are dirty. Dogs love playing in the dirt. I know this, Tucker loves playing in the swamp and digging in our garden. So what happens? They bring the dirt and the, gar or the <laughs> dirt garden and bacteria into the house. Having them around you so often actually builds up your immune system because your body is more used to these allergens and these bacteria, which in turn makes it so that you're less sick. There was a study done that showed that parents who actually had a dog at the same time that they had a baby that baby grew up to have less allergies because they were exposed to pollen and bacteria from the dog. Great things because we're, our generation now is getting so many allergies that we need this. All right, so those are the scientific reasons. Now here's my reasons why a dog is best friend. When I come home from work, my dog is there. When my husband is out of town, my dog is there. They're there to comfort you, they're there to love you. There is no other feeling 
better, sorry, there is no feeling better than when you look at your dog and they have a smile on. You had a, or their smile, sorry, I consider it a smile. But you know what, you had a long day and it's so nice to come home to. It makes you feel mature, it makes you feel responsible knowing that you are taking care of this animal and growing it up. I love cuddling my dog and sleeping with it. It's honestly like having a grown stuffed animal. All right, now I hope that was enough reasons to make you consider adopting, fostering, or maybe just volunteering your time at the local SPCA or the adoption homes, the rescue homes. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you.